And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the San Francisco Giants taking on the Cleveland Guardians. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work quickly, it helps the fielders behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. And he deals. Brandon Crawford in the box here lets that one go for a ball. And the 1 0. They say it went. One and one. Strike two. One Brandon Crawford, a kid who grew up a Giants fan. His dad had season tickets at Candlestick Park and then at, what was it initially? Pac Bell Park. That one not close. Two balls, two strikes. Here's a fun fact on Lucas Giolito. He and his former high school teammate Max Freed both will take a scouting report the night before their start and then go through it by playing MLB The Show. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball, and I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. So here's Wade now. In there for strike one. That one drifts inside. One, two. Next Ball offering three. misses down and away. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with a number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Tyro Estrada in the box now. No balls and a strike. Yeah, that's a little high. Swing and a miss. One and two. Riding to the plate. Lifted in the air, right field. Gonzalez moves under this one. And makes the play, and that's out number three. Nothing doing there for San Francisco. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back now at Progressive Field. Our starter in this one, Kyle Harrison. He's a guy that's going to come right after hitters. I mean, he's not trying to fool them. He's going to pitch the contacts, not worry about it. He trusts his defense behind him. And he's not going to mess around with a whole bunch of different offerings. Only three pitches in the repertoire. So he knows he'll have to work in all three effectively and probably pitch backwards sometimes just to make sure this lineup isn't picking up on too many patterns. And that one is lifted in the air. Yastrzemski makes the grab on the run. The designated hitter. 
Now it's Jose Ramirez. A switch hitter batting right. You know, see, Jose Ramirez signed that big extension, a five-year, $124 million contract before the 2022 season. But right before that happened, the Guardians came this close to trading him. The 0-2. Here's a chopper to short. And Ramirez is set down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. And now it's Josh Naylor. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. That's inside. Ball one. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline your... And there's the third out. That'll do it for the inning. Guardians fail to score. We played an inning. No score. Top of the second, and here is Michael Conforto. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And there's a ball. That one way outside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Patrick Johnson calling the balls and strikes. Pretty standard zone for Johnson. Sometimes he might get a little jumpy, a little excited and expand the zone, but usually you at least feel like the guy on the mound is earning it. And that's important because you got to make guys earn it. That's in there. Now two and one. Just missed. Yeah, the right handers 3 1. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Uh, I think he might have gotten away with one right there. That was a very hittable pitch right over the heart of the plate. And I know that batter is kicking himself right now. Would like to get that pitch again. Just pulled the string on it, and the deception gets him the K. Here's Jack Peterson. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Toss to Naylor. Two up, two down. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Mike Yastrzemski originally drafted by the Orioles 14th round out of Vanderbilt in 2013 the Giants got him in March of 2019 and San Francisco's really where he got a shot to play that misses the zone ball one that one is upstairs second inning here no score That's in there. That's strike one. Just off the outside part of the plate. Three balls, one strike. The wind of the pitch. In there at the knees for a strike. Thank you. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. The three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. They get the force, and the inning is over. One left for San Francisco. 
We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Cleveland, bottom of the second. So in now for Cleveland, Ramon Laureano. And the pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. Now it's the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. Right side, and foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, try to stay out of a double play here. Kicks and fires. Inside, just missed. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. And now the count is even. The pitch. And just misses with that one. Brian Rocchio next to bat for Cleveland. Three, two on the way. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Some real good life going through the zone on that one. On the ground, two ball. To second, there's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. That is good. That's good play. Here's Brian Rocchio. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. And that's in there for strike one. Gonzalez over at first with one away. Hammered on the line, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Bo Naylor at the plate now. In there and it's 0-1. Two on, one out. And that one wrapped foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Peterson on the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there are two outs. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity. But competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. So first and second with two outs. 
Now the third baseman, Tyler Freeman. First offering misses badly for ball one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. And that's a little bit high. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Foul ball there. And here it comes. Fights it off. You'll see another. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Nice grab. Gathers and throws. Nicely done for the out. Guardians strand a couple. We'll move to the third with no score. Top half of the third inning, and here's the catcher, Blake Sable. Giolito back to work. Gets the outside corner with that one. And that skips in the dirt. The 1 1. Cracks his bat and pops him up. Giolito makes the catch, and there's one gone. Casey Schmidt, the next giant to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Top of the third, no score. Fouled off down the right side. That one finds the corner, and it's one and two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in want to try to tie him up that's the one thing we're seeing that high fastball you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings that just misses and it's three and two the wind in the pitch next offering popped in the air right field puts it away for the out Here's Brandon Crawford. Struck out swinging his first time. Pitch misses inside. 1 and 0. Oh. This one popped up right side. Gonzalez trying to get there. He's got it. That is the inning. Giants are down one, two, three. And we are still scoreless.
Back here in Cleveland as we go to the last of the third. And now the rookie second baseman, Jose Tena. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. him looking fastball the letters frozen for strike three now the left fielder Stephen Kwan he's kind of an outlier especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power first pitch and he just misses yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Way inside, gets out of the way. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug, no question about it. But the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact, with less swing and miss. The 2-1. Yeah, and the domino effect of that is running up pitch counts on pitchers and then either getting them to a place of fatigue or getting into the bullpen perhaps before you get to those higher leverage arms at the back end. 3-2. Bounce to the right side. Gathers and throws to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Jose Ramirez. Grounded out his first time up. One of the things that Jim Leland used to say when I was broadcasting with the Marlins, the longer a plate appearance goes for a batter, the more likely it is that something good will happen for the hitter. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Next offering is in for a strike. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. Next offering is foul back. Ramirez tries to hold up, appeal to first, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. Good job to fight that one off. Still two and two after the foul ball. Fouls it back with two strikes. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Good eye right there. Josh Naylor on deck for the Guardians. To kick the three two. Swing and a miss struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. The Guardians go down in order. Still no score. Welcome back. Here's Lamont Wade Jr. The first baseman. The right-hander back to work. That clips the corner. Line drive, caught! Tyro Estrada to the plate. Oh. 
0 to 1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering misses, and now it's even 1 and 1. The Giants still looking for their first hit in this one. The 1 1 is cut on and missed at a pitch upstairs. And a ball evens the count. One down, base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball left field. Quan makes the play, and there are two down. Michael Conforto will climb in. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. In there for strike one. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Next offering is in for a strike. And a pitch. And that one missing low. One ball, two strikes. Three. Struck him out looking. Giants go down quietly, and we're still knotted at zero. And welcome back. Here's Josh Naylor. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And the lefty with the 0-1. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count, he's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. No outs, runner at first. Loriano comes up the hit. One for one with a single so far. Here's the pitch, runner on the goal. Swing and a miss. Throw safe. Well, a nice lead and a nice steal there to get in the scoring position with the heart of the order at the plate. That might just lead them to pitching around these hitters a little more because of the open base, but it's early in this ball game. Can't imagine it'll change the attack plan too much. And fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Brings it in. Runner tags up for third. And he's in safely at third with one out. Now back, right fielder. Oscar. And now the right fielder, Oscar Gonzalez. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Here's a sack fly situation, and he's got to make sure he gets the ball out over the plate and get those arms extended. They're trying to crowd him with the infield in. This would be a big pickoff if he can push a run across. Next pitch is inside, one and one. The 
one one is fouled off run around at third one gone. And now it's even up. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. The 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. And that's down and away. Brian Rocchio next to bat for Cleveland. They all pitch. In there, sets him down on strikes. Throws him with a backdoor slider. Oh, that's a huge strikeout right there. Big second out. Infield was in. They were playing the full court press, and he got the swing and miss. Keeps this one tied. This next at bat should be a lot of fun. The odds of wiggling out of this just went up considerably. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio picked up a base hit to center his first time up. And that's in there for strike one. Kicks and deals. Swing it a foul straight back. And the 2 mm, Just misses there. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. Now a pop up on the infield. Wade makes the grab and that's the inning. Guardians leave one through four still tied zip zip that was an opportunity to do damage he popped it up instead frustrating at bat he'll be thinking about that one for a while back here at the ballpark ready now for the fifth inning and Jack Peterson stands in now the right hander ready to go still no score and first offering is fouled off. Left hand hitter waits. Slice the other way and foul. Right hander kicks deals. And that's in the dirt. And it's even up. It's a good take. Here comes a pitch. Chases that one out of the zone. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The Giants hitless so far in the game. Next pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. And it's fouled away. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Tyler Fitzgerald, the next Giant to hit. And first offering is fouled off. And 
and the righty deals. Pitch misses. One ball, one strike. And there's the strike. One and two now. Got him looking. The big righty strikes out the side. Giants down in order. Halfway through this one, still no score. Back now at Progressive Field. And now the catcher comes up to him. Bo Naylor. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And he deals. And a count one and two. And now the lefty got him swinging. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Here's Tyler Freeman to hit. Up the middle. On the run. Throw to first. Old man for the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. I love how guys at this level are able to slow the game down, whether it's in the batter's box or on defense. And right there, that was a good job of knowing just how much time he had. We talk about that internal clock. He was able to gather himself, get a good grip, and make an accurate throw across the diamond. And now it's going to be Jose Tena out towards left center, and it drops in. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That ball right there landed in what they call the no-man's land, meaning it's not really a spot on the field where you can expect anyone to get to it easily. I mean, it's a tough play going back for the shortstop, but also for the outfielders trying to come in. they got to go a long way as well. Now it's going to be Stephen Kwan. Ball with pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. Now snap throw to first, and he's back in standing. Fought off foul. To first, and they've got him picked off. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Now into the ball game on defense, Andres Jimenez. He'll play second. Now it's the Giants catcher, Blake Sable. First time up was a pop out. Giolito back to work. Here's a line drive, and that's going to end the no-hitter. It's a base hit. The throw's offline. He's safe. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. No outs. Runner at first. And up next for San Francisco, Casey Schmidt. There's a strike. Oh, this is a case of just slowing the game down. Sometimes you get so concerned with getting the job done, you forget that you still have to get a good pitch to do the job with. And he pops up the bunt. Throw to first is in time. There to beat him by an eyelash.
And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. There's a strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Sable over at second, one down. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. And Crawford is set down. Up next to the Giants, the first baseman, Lamont, Lamont Wade Jr., Jr., the next Giant to hit. Ball oh, one cool. low. Runner at third, two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Just oh, missed. Cool. In there at the knees. And now two and two. That's the third base hit and a run into score. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And digging in for San Francisco, Tyro Estrada. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next pitch is downstairs. In the dirt, blocked. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Here's a 2-2. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Giants two and the Guardians nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. That one off the mark. And that's ball one. Tying run at the plate. Ball that's out. in there and that is strike one in today's game not that many fastball counts but hitters still in the back of their minds they're looking for one 2-0 change up call right there excellent pitch selection to go with left hand batter waits that one back up the middle and it gets through coming around third is Jimenez 
He scores, and now they trail by one. Big time at bat right there. Comes through, and they're back within a run. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Next to hit, Jose Ramirez. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up, try to get out of this jam. There's the strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Here's the 1 Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Gets a piece and it stays 0-2. Snap throw to first. Quad back easily. Check swing, appeal to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor, known for his late inning heroics. Step off throw to first. Quan back on a dive. Rip to first, caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Here's Ramon Laureano. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. The 0-1. And a foul ball. Is just one strike away. One ball, two strikes. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Tying run at first. The winning run at the plate. No, Harrison two. checks over to first, and he's back. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. Down to their final strike. And another two, ball. Two, yeah. Two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. At the belt and fires. Got him! And that's the ball game. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.